So, hey, had to sleep on this one, as I'm of two minds about it. Not that I've slept much. I've also been working a lot more lately, which is good and bad. All of my bones hurt, which is a decent enough segue into my main point. Here's my review of Evil Dead Rise. Sort of pseudo-review, I guess. I say that because I kind of feel like I need to watch the movie again before I make up my mind about it, really. I feel like the first time I watched it, I wasn't in an entirely receptive mood. And it's entirely possible I got myself overhyped again. Surprise, surprise. But as of now, here are my thoughts, warts and all. Short version. I liked it. I didn't love it, though. At this point now, we have two modern-day interpretations of the Evil Dead franchise, and they are very different animals. The remake by Fide Alvarez, I feel, updates the overall concept of Evil Dead with the more serious and original vision, but it still pays homage to the original. It just sort of refines and distills the scariness by dispensing with a lot of the silliness. Lee Cronin's Evil Dead Rise, on the other hand, feels more like a refinement and re kind of a continuation of the more zany qualities of the original films. The raminess, if you will. Which is not bad. It's not even altogether surprising, because this movie sort of went out of its way to sort of tell us all that it was continuing and adding to the lore of the franchise rather than reinventing it. But I guess the mistake I made, and I'm totally owning this, I expected something more like the remake. And now I kind of realize that wasn't fair. I do feel like this is a good metric, though. If the Evil Dead remake shares most of its tonality with the original film, then I would argue that Evil Dead Rise takes a lot of its tonality from Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn, which gets a couple of notable shout-outs. <laughs> Let's not get confused here, though. It's brutal. It's uh, horrific. And it's oftentimes pr pretty scary. But sometimes it kind of has this almost cartoonish energy that doesn't always mesh well with what's going on, at least not to me. Which is why I feel sometimes in the movie it was doing something that was meant to be scary or repulsive. And it ended up just kind of being unintentionally hilarious. Which I realize is kind of hypocritical of me because I'm a huge fan of uh, Sam Raimi's Drag Me to Hell. Which is a movie that both still scares me to this day and is easily one of the silliest things I've ever seen in my life. Like, you don't have to point it out to me. And I also felt... Like, a lot of the time, Evil Dead Rise reminded me of watching a movie from the 90s or the 2000s. It felt like it had some of the worst offerings and learned some of the worst lessons from that era of horror, and I'm just... I'm not a fan of that era. And while the Deadites are cruel and sort of vocal in this one, which I appreciated, I, I had problems with them. I feel like I can't say much more than that without needing to make a whole other video or just being spoilery. I also just don't like kids getting hurt in horror movies. That's a totally other weird hang-up that I won't go into right now. But here's the thing. My wife loved it. She walked out of that theater with a twinkle in her eye. Like, she was so wrapped up in it and in love with it. I had to reconsider, like, maybe I missed something here. And to hear her tell it, I think I did. She talked about how it was one of the best horror movies she'd seen in a long time, how brutal and mean-spirited it was, and how scary it was to her, and her, her words, how she felt like she was being attacked, but in a good way. And I've got to admit, that made me rethink some things and sort of just kind of appreciate the things that I did like in the movie. Because I did like some things in the movie a lot. For example, like every Evil Dead movie sort of has the same signature pieces on the board, you know? These 
recognizable things from each movie that find their way into each movie. And the way a lot of them are introduced in this movie are just very clever. And I really liked that a lot. And I just generally appreciated that it was trying new things. A lot of new things. It's, uh, it goes far beyond this idea. It's just taking place in an old apartment building. Which, I'm not going to lie, sort of reminded me of Lamberto Bava's Demons 2. But I, I digress. And some of the scares and the deaths and the eviscerations. Pretty inventive. There's at least one that's like still sticks with me. And well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spoil it, but let's say there's something brand new to the franchise at the end of this movie that well, it kinda spoke to me. Because it felt very much like something I would have personally done in one of my horror stories, so that made me very happy. Basically, I enjoyed Evil Dead Rise. There's a lot to like here. I had some hang-ups with it, but I think it's still, you know, a good movie, and the next time I watch it, I will probably appreciate it more. It's definitely a worthy entry to this franchise, and it seems like it's willing to take it in bold, new, exciting directions. And if the rumors are true, Raimi wants to continue making Evil Dead movies for the foreseeable future, like every few years. Which is exciting, but where are they going to go? That's That's my question. What are the chances it's like, in suburbia or something, or, uh, or like at the DMV. Ugh. Also, Staffany. We stand Staffany.